Good afternoon, everyone, and we are the Group 3. Uh, my name is Marcus John Javier, and alongside with me is uh, Mr. Eman Magsino and uh, Sir Aris Sulit. So our title, the title of our presentation is all about integration of photo processing techniques in teaching addition and subtraction of matrices. So how did we came up uh, with this kind of presentation? So uh, we have taken uh, we have dig deeper uh, regarding certain concerns about technological integration when it comes to teaching linear algebra. So uh, we have chosen uh, photo processing techniques as uh, one of the methods that could be or that is possible when we are teaching uh, addition and subtraction of matrices. So may I present to you uh, some citations uh, regarding the usage of uh, photo processing techniques. So first we have from a journal of information systems, engineering and management are written by Caridade. Uh, this is published uh, last December 7, 2019 with the title of applications, ideas in linear algebra with digital image processing. Can we do teach, motivate? and evaluate. So Caridade actually highlighted here the importance of or the relation of photo processing techniques in uh, teaching specifically linear algebra. He also uh, emphasized how uh, digital image processing could relate into matrices as uh, he have compared uh, when we, uh, as you could see in the literature, that uh, he related uh, photo processing techniques like uh, using negatives or uh, decreasing photos. Uh, he also uh, highlighted wrapping up uh, images in comparison to the operations of matrices like addition, subtraction, and multiplication. But he also highlighted that these uh, techniques are only used as a part for a motivation or maybe in activities uh, he could he couldn't find any purpose or any ways on inserting it in a in the subject matter or teaching the subject matter itself but it is only just a supplement uh, for teaching the uh, for teaching the subject so uh, it's only used or he he emphasized it in using only in motivations or in activities Another citation uh, that was used is, again, come from uh, the same author, which is Caridade, but this time uh, he uh, emphasizes it uh, or he uh, kind of watered it down into a much more specific uh, method. So he, uh, as mentioned in the title, applying image processing techniques to motivate students in linear algebra classes. So if you... You could uh, go back to the title before he mentioned that it is actually used in uh, not only just motivating but also in teaching and evaluating. But this time he only watered it down into a simple uh, yet uh, meaningful uh, presentation which is only to motivate. So uh, here he emphasizes that it is uh, a big factor on introducing uh, operations and matrices using teaching uh, digital uh, photo processing techniques. So uh, we were, we are, we, the group three, are going to enact this uh, research that was brought uh, to us by Caridate. So we are going to try to uh, integrate digital uh, photo processing techniques in introducing uh, addition and subtraction of matrices. So to present to you, first we were going to start with our learning objectives. So after a series of illustrat illustrative examples, the students should be able to, first, of course, we should define or we will be able to define addition and subtraction of matrices. Next, if we could already know how to define addition and subtraction of matrices, we would now perform the given operations. We will be able to perform addition and subtraction of matrices. Third, we need to relate 
So uh, we would be able to relate addition and subtraction of matrices in real life using photo processing techniques. So uh, in this third objective, uh, doon na, no? Maka, doon na mapapasok yung citations natin kanina wherein Karidate emphasizes how it is important no? to relate uh, photo processing techniques in introducing this subject. Not only that it would make the topic interesting, but that the students would be able to see how it is related or how the topic is sometimes visualized or related in our real life. So let's have uh, a motivation. So uh, we have here a title picture analysis. So uh, what are we going to try to do is that we are only going to compare the following set of photos. So we have here set A, we have here three photos. So anyone in the group would tell me uh, how uh, or what do you see? Or how do you compare these three pictures? So anyone? There. Uh, yes, uh, Sir Eman, uh, what can you say about these photos? Um, as you can see, as I observe also that there is an overlapping on the third figure. Mm -hmm, I see. Good. Uh, good analysis. So uh, as uh, Sir Emmanuel mentioned, uh, uh, comparing picture one, picture two, from picture three, it seems like picture one overlap with picture two, resulting or producing picture number three. Uh, anyone else uh, that would give uh, any more analysis regarding these pictures? Anyone? If there is none, we could proceed to the next. Uh, so we have here another set. So don't worry, so I didn't have to We could uh, check if we could analyze set B. So, uh, Sir Aris, are you there? So, uh, anything, yes, anything that you could say about the pictures? Sir, I think uh, the third set also has overlap. Uh, the third set, uh, set of picture is overlapping. It means that uh, the first and second pictures combines. Okay, uh, good analysis there, uh, uh, Sir Aris. But uh, this time, it, uh, it is not actually uh, overlapping. No? So, uh, kung mapapansin mo naman dito, ang ginawa is, uh, kung makita mo si first picture, no? so gray siya. So, gray na may parang mga kanin-kanin, no? Tapos, si second picture, it is a gray background. So, imagine mo kung tatanggalin natin yung background na gray, ano ang lalabas? So, it would be a black background with uh, rice grains. No? So, it is the opposite of set A. So, dito naman, imbis na mag-overlap tayo, we will be removing the background, resulting into picture number 3. So ano nga ba kinalaman no ng mga picture analysis na, na ito sa topic natin today. So let me introduce first to you our topic for today. So first we have addition of matrices. So looking back at set A no. So uh, sa set A di ba nga uh, sabi ni Sir Eman dito there are overlapping. No? So uh, from uh, the picture 1 to picture 2 overlap niya, it would be the result of picture number three. Actually, we, we find a similarity no, when it comes to addition of matrices. So, uh, let's have here the definition. Muna. So, let's try to define and how do we add matrices. So, in adding matrices, if A is equals to the set of A sub I and J and B is equals to the set of B sub I and J, are matrices of size M times N. Then their sum is the M times N matrix A plus B equal to AIJ plus BIJ. So, sir, paano po yan? Parang ang komplikado na po. So, let's have a look at the examples so, para mas maklaro kayo no? sa gusto sabihin ng ating definition. So, we have here an example. We have here a set of matrices. No? So we have here a 2 by 2 matrices. So 
we have uh, let's label the first matrix as matrix A and matrix B yung pangalawa. So if you could observe, no, meron silang pareho dimensions. So sabi kasi sa definition, di ba, are matrices of size M times N, then their sum is also M times N. So that is a rule that you must need to remember when we are tackling matrices. No? So dapat pareho lagi ng dimensions. O balik tayo ulit doon sa sets of pictures. No? Kung naaalala nyo si set A tsaka si set B, no? dapat pareho rin sila ng dimension. Diba? Like kung kayo, kung may mga nag edit man no? sa mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon, no? uh, when you are editing photos, no? uh, sa palagay nyo, parang is it practical or is it actually good to use two different photos that are not with the same dimension. Magiging blurry yung picture na yan and would result into a bad quality. No? So, ganun lang rin po. No? Nag Nagwo-work ang isang addition of matrices. Dapat pareho yung size ng dalawang matrices. So, paano nga ba tayo nag add So, the only rule here is to just basically add the same uh, matrix, matrix places. No? So, kung titignan natin dito, sa example, we have uh, matrix A with 1, 3, negative 1, and 2. Plus matrix B, which is negative 1, 2, 0, and 4. So, uh, hahanapin nyo lang yung uh, kasama niya. No? So, sa set A, you should look for I, J, or Kunwari, si I is 1 and J is 1. So, 1, 1 is 1. Then, hanapin mo yung counterpart niya, which is B, I, J naman, or B, 1, 1, which is negative 1. So, expanding it, no, pakikita nyo, kung, kung ano yung mga nasa pwesto nila, kung saan pwesto lang sila nabibilang, yun lang yung pag add nyo sa isang matrix. So, we have here uh, matrix A plus B, which is 1 plus negative 1. Negative 1 plus 0, 3 plus 2, and 2 plus 4. So we have a result of 0, negative 1, 5, and 6. So ganun lang po mag-add ng matrices. So another example. So we have here again a 3 by 3 matrix naman. So dapat 3 by 3 rin, no? Yung kasama niya. So let's have a look. Oh, so matrix A is 3 by 3. Matrix B is 3 by 3. So we could directly add them together. So uh, using the same rule, no? we have here 2 plus negative 6, 4 plus 0, negative 2 plus 1, 5 plus 3, 7 plus negative 8, negative 4 plus 9, negative 6 plus 3, 0 plus 2, 1 plus negative 5. And then the result is negative 4, 4, negative 1, 8, negative 1, 5, negative 3, 2, and negative 4. So, ganun lang po mag-add ng matrices. So, we have here a rule. So, take note lang. Oh, balik tayo doon sa sinabi ko kanina. Note here. The sum of two matrices of different sizes is undefined. So, bakit? So, again nga, you could not add the same, uh, you could not add uh, two different dimensions of matrices because they are not compatible with each other. So let's have an example here. So uh, anyone could tell me bakit I undefined po ang example natin here. So anyone? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, uh, sir Aris. Oh, bakit undefined ang example so undefined, natin? Undefined sila since uh, yung dimensions yung dimensions nila sir are not the same mm -hmm. we have so, a 3 by 3 mm -hmm. uh, added to a 2 by 3 matrix sir okay correct uh aris no so uh, as you can see matrix a has a 3 by 3 dimension and uh matrix b has a 2 by 3 dimension so ganun po uh hindi natin pwede siyang i-add and therefore we could conclude that Adding these two matrices would result into an
So clear po ba tayo sa addition of matrices? Clear po yes, ba? Yes, sir. Okay. So kung clear naman, let's proceed. O, kung may addition tayo, no? proceed naman tayo sa subtraction of matrices. So sa subtraction naman, like again, sa set B, no? doon sa motivation natin kanina, uh, kung tatanggalin mo nga yung gray na background, magre-result siya into a different picture that, that goes apply with the same with subtraction of matrices. So in subtracting matrices, if A again is uh, set A set A sub IG and, and B is equals to a set B I and J, our matrices of size M times N, then their difference is the M times N matrix wherein we have A minus B is equals to A sub IJ minus B sub IJ. So, same lang siya, no? Yung definition kanina kay addition. Pero ang difference niya is we are going to subtract instead of add. So, let's have a look at the examples. So, again, unang-unang uh, step, no? Sa matrices, all you need to do is to identify or do they have the same dimensions. Kung meron, you could proceed to just partnering them up with their corresponding matrix numbers. So we have here 2 minus 0, 5 minus negative 7, 4 minus 1, negative 1 minus negative 9, 0 minus 10, and negative 3 minus 6. Then proceed with the operation. So after that, we will now have a result of 2, 10, 12, 3, 8, negative 10, and negative 9. Oh, next, oh, next example, we have here negative 9, 7, negative 1, negative 3, minus 2, 4, 8, and negative 3. So, unang-una step, again, alala ko lang, identify, uh, do they have the same dimensions? If yes, proceed with the next step, which is to partner them with their corresponding uh, matrix numbers. So, we have negative 9, minus 2. Negative 1 minus 4, 7 minus 8, negative 3 minus negative. So we have negative 11, negative 1, negative 5, and 0. So let's uh, try, no? Bago natin i-check this out. Ito, no? So clear po ba muna tayo sa subtraction ng matrices? Yes po, sir. Okay. So kung clear naman, oh. Let's try to check this out. So, babalik tayo doon sa ano, uh, set of pictures natin kanina. I would like to know no, paano nag-iba yung tingin nyo sa mga pictures na ito. No? So, let's start from, uh, dahil uh, sinabit ni Sir Eman to, oh, Sir Eman, oh, ano yung kakaibahan, parang pinagkaiba ng tingin mo sa mga pictures na ito ngayon after ng lesson? Um, as I observed, sir, uh, there, when we add two images on the first figure and second figure, uh, that results in our third figure. Uh, there is there is a uh, an overlapping, but uh, ano po siya? Uh, medyo align na siyang bagya for mm -hmm. me. Okay, okay, sure. So. Uh, as you could also observe, no? so meron tal ito yung sinasabi kong comparison niya kanina no? sa addition of matrices. Unang-una, di ba, sa un pinakaunang step no? para malaman natin kung, ano, kung pwede ba natin silang i-add. Pareho ba sila ng dimensions? Pareho ba yung photo natin? Pareho ba sila ng laki? So let's yes, assume, no? pareho siya. Oh. So kung pareho siya, pwede natin siyang i-add. Same as the addition of matrices. No? So, in in real life, yung camera, yung mata natin. Di ba? So, kung ano yung nakikita ng mata natin, no? imagine mo yung mata natin. Eh, ito yung nakikita. Nakikita si picture 1. Then, na, makikita mo rin si picture 2. And makikita mo rin si picture 3. No? So, that that's how mathematics, no? in a sense, work in our real life. No? Like, uh, yung mata natin mismo, no? parang nakakapag-identify siya ng matrices. In a sense na dapat pareho to ng dimension no? para masabi natin na nag-overlap na unang-una. Kunwari, uh, kung may hawak man kayong cellphone ngayon, no? 
Unang-una, tingnan nyo yung cellphone nyo nang nakapatay. So, yun yung picture A natin, di ba? Then, buksan nyo yung cellphone nyo. Yun yung picture B natin. Ngayon, sa picture C natin, makikita mo yung overlap na uh, may mga part na gumalaw, pero they are also belonging to the same frame. No? Ganon gumagana si addition of matrices. Ganon rin gumagana yung mata natin. No? So, kung, kung nakikita nyo, no, may relation yung dalawa no? in real life. Like, uh, lagi, nyo kasi, lagi kasi natin tinatanong, no? like, we are all aware na Uh, but ba natin pinag-aaralan to no like ano bang sense ng sub, ng topic na to no like hindi naman natin siya ma-apply in real life but uh, in a deeper sense no makikita nyo na uh, sa mata pa lang natin no masasabi na natin na operations on matrices really worse no sa mata pa lang natin so let's have a look no oh ngayon binaliktad ko naman siya so sir Aris oh ikaw naman po ano anong masasabi mo sa Another D set of photos naman. Okay. So second set of photos naman, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, it's like you sub mm -hmm. you subtract Same. or you subtract an image to the original picture. Okay. So the first picture will be equal to Also, parang binaliktad lang din yung process. Yung 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. Parang ganun po yun sa akin. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, if you could recall, no, uh, sa mathematics natin, di ba, pag addition, no, kapag nagtatranspose tayo, eh, magiging subtraction. No? So, this is also an example, no, na kung paano gumagana yung mga photo process na to, no, na binaliktad ko lang siya, nag-iba yung meaning niya, no. Like from these overlap photos, we will be decreasing this certain type of picture. So from picture A, tatanggalin natin si picture B doon. So ang matitira na lang si picture C. Pero doon sa unang set, no, we add the two. So ganun, no? ganun in-emphasize ni Caridade doon sa literatures natin na minention ko kanina. No? The how photo processing techniques work no? in linear algebra. So, let's have uh, another example. So, si skip natin to. No? Doon tayo sa last. So, we have here uh, a set of images. So, doon muna tayo sa unang line. So, Sir Eman, what can you say naman about this photo? As I observed in this photo, Sir, uh, when we add the two images on the first set of figure, uh, There is a uh, images of a bird, and the second set of image. Uh, when we subtract the given image, there is a black black bird on the image, and there is a um, yung nabawas po sir yung ano niya yung uh, light color images. Okay. Yes. So. Again, uh, ito yung isa rin sa mga example, no? As you could see uh, here, uh, dun sa unang line, no? We here added the bird, no? From the sky. So, kung yung sky daw, ilalagay mo dun sa kulay ng bird, ayun yung magiging itsura niya. And then, at the same time naman, dun sa pangalawa, kung tatanggalin mo yung ibon, no? Or yung background, ang matitira, eh, is a black bird, no? Parang silhouette lang. So these are examples, no, of how photo processing really uh, could relate no, in doing operations on sets. And uh, with that said, no, uh, that concludes, no, uh, the presentation for today. So uh, I will be moving my, uh, I would be moving the honor to Sir Aris, no, to discuss, no. The reflection regarding uh, the presentation. So, Sir Aris, no, the floor is yours, Bob. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sir Marcus. So, let's reflect first. Uh, this is the ref uh, analysis and reflections of the of the study that we have discussed or that we had presented. 
first question is, what is image processing? So image processing, so all standard ways to manipulate uh, image, matrix operations, geometric transformations, and detections may be performed by applying mathematical operations to the matrix associated with each image with it in adding and subtracting matrices. A natural link between linear and digital image processing supported by contemporary technologies and computational tools can be explored in elementary linear courses. So the concept to be learned by the students must have meaning to the students so that they can assimilate it. This means that the teacher must discern the meaning of the concepts to the students. In this sense, the use of image processing can enrich the teaching practice, improving student learning by exploring its resources in every activity proposed by the teacher. So the students overcome the difficulties presented in the study of linear algebra. Uh, teachers are able to transmit the contents of linear algebra to students and teaching learning process of linear algebra is more stimulating and motivating. And for the second question, why is image processing effective? So the efficiency of teaching uh, algorithmic uh, can be highly improved by utilizing the senses as educational aids. So this image processing, this image processing is uh, making the making material curriculum. So the success of the making material curriculum is very relevant uh, example on how multi-sensory approach can improve the teaching learning process by BirdSnap 2008. The increase of computing devices performance and the advances in an image acquisition uh, methods have made the digital image processing or the DIP an important way for solving problems of different areas. The digital image processing has become an important tool to several organizations from different areas which uses solutions based on DIP or digital image processing in academy. It's a research project. And in daily life with a population of multimedia applications, uh, DIP applications use several algorithmics, highlighting, image acquisition, enhancement, filters, transform, segmentation, border detection, and classification, thereby the discipline of digital image processing became subject of teaching in many higher education courses, such as computer science and engineering, mapping science and engineering, geology, agronomy, electrical engineering, electronics engineering, and many more. That's it, Paul. Thank you, Paul.